Hello, my name is Ashton Spencer and I'm from Fredericksburg, Virginia. I have been a lifelong Republican conservative ever since I was 13. I uh, even wore a John McCain t-shirt the day after he lost in 2008. I'm as red as you can get on a lot of issues. I'm super pro-life, I'm super free trade, I am super for cutting the budget and, you know, having a balanced deficit. But when will enough be enough? I understand why people voted for Donald Trump in 2016. I get it. The country was in a bad place. There was a lot of despair. There was a lot of anxiety when it comes to the people who have been controlling our political class for the last 20, 30 years. I get it. I live with a person who voted for him. And 90% of people who voted for Trump are good, really, really good people. I'm honestly asking, when you have a person that acts like that to a level, you wouldn't even accept your preacher acting like that. So why are you accepting the president? Why will you vote for him again when he, you wouldn't accept that from your preacher? My house has Bible verses all around it. And typically, I'm not a person who likes to bring politics into religion and vice versa. But our country is hurting and we all need more love. And when we just keep on ignoring a president who acts bad, badly, very, like has no morals at all, when we ignore that, that seeks down throughout throughout society, through culture. People look at the role models. Kids, like when we have to tell kids, don't act like the president, don't say what he said, oh, don't listen to him. That's not a good thing. And that's just the bottom of the barrel of why we can't have him as president anymore. I don't agree with Joe Biden on 70% of policy on things. I don't agree with him on much. But on the 20% I do, it's the most important things that make, that really makes America, America. It's about being able, no matter what background you come from, being able to make it through the system and achieve your dream. And how is that possible when our country is fighting with itself constantly? And I'm tired of people's people just pointing to the other side and being like, look at all the terrible things they did. No, we have one leader, one president. And when you let him get away with anything, you can't just point to a few Congress members and be like, well, they give the president all clear, do whatever he wants. No, we need to start with our own side. And that's why I'm happy me and my wife are voting for Joe Biden. And I, I, plead with anyone who's a Republican conservative. Let's start off with a fresh slate. Let's show the Republican Party we're not willing to deal with it anymore, that we are going to start off clean and hopefully we can have a good nominee in 2024 that we can be proud of, that we don't have to make excuses. Let's be done with excuses.